let's get this party started. I reckon. I'll leave bed chat up there in the top right corner. Launch Rogue State. Been a few months since I last played it. The game has updated since the last time I played it. Uh, chiefly, um, some parts of gameplay have been rebalanced. Most importantly, the effects of taxes have been revised. Setting the taxes very high or very low now has more consequences than before. Let's see here. Let me read the rest. In addition to that, we fixed a number of small bugs in the treasury calculations and policy effects, and a few minor graphical glitches have been fixed, too. Okay! So, my super cool, awesome pro strategy of having taxes up at a whopping 50% has apparently been partially nuked. We'll see to what extent it has been nuked in this wonderful run of Rogue State. Now, uh, last time I played this game, I suffered my first defeat. I trusted the Soviet Union. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I trusted Russia to defend me against the injustices and tyranny of the United States. Uh, like one of the previous updates said the, the Russia would. I didn't. Uh, I pissed off America, stuck my fingers in their eyes, and uh, they invaded at the Senji and uh, kicked me out of office. That's the first non-intentional defeat I suffered. Uh, there was a, an unintentional defeat uh, I did for an achievement where I just uh, set off nukes. Yes. So, we're going to try the Hermit King scenario again. And we'll see where we go from there. Your family name is New Version. Alright. Uh, we'll play this on normal difficulty, I reckon, because it has been something since I've played the game. Hermit Kingdom. Let's go. We're going live in three, two. I guess one. I'll let this play again. For those just joining us, we are fortunate to have an audience today with our glorious leader. Excellency, last week we experienced the conclusion of the trial of the tyrant King Solomon, with his execution scheduled for next Friday. With the Great Revolution finally concluded, what will the future political structure of the People's Republic of Bisenji finally look like? Well, Zara, King Salman was a corrupt and sadistic man. Under his rule, our people served while he sold away our most sacred objects to pay for his own luxuries. Hundreds of thousands of souls died under his tyranny, yet he was tolerated by the American imperialists. His death will give us closure, but our work is only just beginning. The people's revolution is never really over. We must rebuild this country from the ashes, reform it. The Revolutionary Council has put me in charge of the transitional government for the next five years to maintain order while a new constitution is drafted. One that meets the needs of all the people. Many were expecting your brother Farouk would be named by the Revolutionary Council as the interim leader of Besenji. What role will he have in the transitional government? Farouk is popular to be certain and was a fellow patriot of the revolution. He will be given an appropriate role in my cabinet. It is often said that the Americans are suspicious of our transitional government and that you face a great deal of pressure from domestic interests seeking reforms. Our first priority is, of course, reconstruction. The American imperialists are of no concern at this time. Governance is not an easy task, but I assure the people that we will build a stronger Basenji together. Thank you again for your time, Excellency. It is a pleasure, Zara. Okay. As glorious leader, bah. So, we've got four possible folks we could stick in onto our cabinet, one of whom is Farouk. Uh, Farouk is uh, our brother. He is an immensely powerful individual, and he is feels cheated. He feels cheated by the fact that he is not interim leader of Basenji, 
and he will actively work to sabotage our regime. So one of these slots is going to be left unfilled, of course. And one of them is going to have Farouk in it. And I uh, tend to stick Farouk as the intelligence minister these days, I think. Because of how not valuable I find it to be. So he can be intelligence minister. Now, um, I'm going to stick Mustafa here uh, as head of my defense. I'm gonna stick Hamaza here, Hamza, here as foreign. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go with communications rather than finance, uh, as much as I do like money. We'll see where the road takes us. No, it's not my first time in the big chair. Yes, yes, Tariq. Excellency, I th leave you alone. No, leave me alone. As you wish, Excellency. That's right. Now, of course, I've actually forgotten what the Hermit King scenario is. Hold on. We got a phone call here. Greetings, Your Excellency. Hi. I am Prime Minister Fatima Al Farsi, and on behalf of Babelistan, I wanted to be the first to welcome the liberation of the People's Republic of Basenji from the tyranny of the Salman family. The Salman regime was a threat to the yes. whole region. Once the I'm glad. Thank you for your call. There is much. Awesome. Have a joke. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? Not sure, but the flag is a big plus. Tough crowd. Go away. Apologies. Goodbye. Get out of my face. All right. So that's a free call. There, you can interact with the lady. If you so desired. I didn't feel like doing it though. Let's head to our painting here so I can check to see what exactly our hermit kingdom is. You may start future games as an isolation state with poor relations with your neighbors but total control over what the public sees. Okay. I have all these things unlocked. Neat. So that's where we are. So please bear with me or don't. Uh, it has been some time since I have played the game. We have Babelistan, we have Chickenistans in the game, and Oxygen. Wonderful. We have our Build Infrastructure button, and we are going to get right on that. Uh, I definitely want to speed reconstruction effort. Yep. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Consumed one of my turn bucket things. And let's see how painful these super hiked up taxes are going to be. I'm curious. <laughs> I am playing on normal difficulty, so I do have an easier setup with popularity than to which I am accustomed. We got our paper here. There's a liberation parade. It was wonderful. Let's take a look at the policies. I need to configure this. Alright. Now how the hell did I do this? Gotta do this crazy balance act here. Let's go ahead and legalize gambling. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some... No, fuck disaster relief for now. We need super homeless shelters. Super disability support. We're gonna really care about that. Free trade zone. No prayer week. Give him the death penalty. Fuck crime. Put us all in a police state. Full transit system. Exceptional schools. That upsets everyone. So, well, that makes everyone happy except for the fundamentalists, because of course. Closed circuit television surveillance. Uh, we'll go ahead and balance out the minimum wage, give everyone a low minimum wage. All right.
tanked. We should have a disaster relief fund, though, with random events being what they are. Now, finally, for alcohol. How should I resolve this? Those fundies are gonna be obnoxious. We'll permit it, though. We're burning through quite a bit of money, though, whenever we've just not even really got taxes set up. But uh, I think I should focus on getting my approval levels uh, solid. And, uh, yeah, no matter how much that costs, because we're taxing people out the gills, right? With our whopping 50% tax rate, I'm sure they'll get over it. <laughs> Currently, this is our situation in Parliament. We have a whopping 60 loyalty points. We don't have any banked points. And they remain static for the moment. Uh, don't really need to look at the Psychopedia. Let's gander at our room here. Our general, our procurement officer. How we look at... No, I don't need to order any more things. How's our strategic overview look at? Alright, we got folks on the borders. We're not trading with anyone. I think these two folks have goats. They got like precious metals. They got like the spices. You got oil and uh, like consumable culture. Neat. Do I want to start any clandestine operations right now? Can't really afford it right now on this turn. But that dam is so useful. That dam is so useful. That 85% success rate is a little scary though. It really is. Okay. Well, I take this risk all the time. The Sinji Space Program allows you to do an untold number of actions per turn. Yeah, eventually we'll hike up, like, our monetary increase, and I mean, if this run fails, then we learned. So this is our first event to start off, huh? No identified aircraft has strayed into your borders from Chickenistan and is not responding to any communications. Appears to be traveling at a high speed that is inconsistent with a civilian airliner. I'll have to let it go. And the cowardly nation of Chickenistan has just launched an unprovoked attack against our military facilities. Okay. Wow. Turn one war. Not experienced that before. Well, that's pretty rough. Certainly, uh... The, uh, the factions are a little upset by that. This has certainly made the game more interesting. Oh! Well, there's lines here that I never noticed before. Yeah! This is different. Pretty confident it is. I can't get that plus 10 capitalist support. I feel this section has been changed somehow. Oh, well. Oh, I have to get both things. Right. Hmm. I wonder whether that increased speed matters that much now. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just fucking remembering it. I'm fucking misremembering how to play this game. That sounds like something I'd do. This doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to grab. I should have gotten the increases to tax revenue first. Hmm. 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 Oh, well. My memory's a little rusty. So be it. Well, we're certainly not making that much money anymore. What the hell happened to the money? It's all gone now. Policy-wise... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can slow down that decline there. 
Oh, I'm only doing life imprisonment instead of like the dead pilly, right? I don't want to upset the liberals too much. Okay. That's cool. The fundamentalists are a little pissy. This harms the GDP, though. Boo. Huh. Yeah, my brain's pretty rusty on this game. Okay, so we're at war with Chickenistan. And that's terrible. Like, a random event just sent our asses to war. So I'm gonna abandon the borders here. From our fucking turn war one... Uh, turn one war declaration. I should have hired troops first. Although I don't think I could have given them orders. I, uh... I might hire, a. Uh, Damn, I hate to spend the money. You know, fuck it. If if things just go bad, I'll just restart. Fuck you, game. Turn one war. Like a rude-ass game being rude. Turn one war declaration. Hey! Uh, Axtogen. Thank you for taking my call. You like jokes? A man flying in a hot air balloon suddenly realizes he's lost. He reduces height and spots a man down below. He lowers the balloon further and shouts to get directions. Excuse me, can you tell me where I am? The man below says, yes, you're in a hot air balloon hovering 30 feet above this field. You must be a scientist, says the balloonist. I am, replies the man. How did you know? Well, says the balloonist, everything you have told me is technically correct, but it's of no use to anyone. The man below responds, you must work in management. I do, replies the balloonist, but how do you know? Well, says the man, you don't know where you are or where you're going, but you expect me to be able to help. You're in the same position you were before we met, but now it's my fault. Tough crowd. All right, let's discuss issues. Uh, gosh. This is what happens whenever you don't have intel. You just have to like take a take a shot in the dark here. The only pragmatic reality of this Shit. Is All right. Uh, human rights. We want to... It is interesting to hear you say. That. Yes, yes, Basenji. We... United Nations. We agree. Yay. Good. Goodbye. Damn must come first, liberals. Lead the money. That would be why I'm really losing the money. It's because of the fact that I'm running the damn project. Okay, well. Finally got the tax revenues increased. Not really sure why this, like, reducing reconstruction limits is that valuable. Because I need to go through these things, like... I can apparently have this done by d whatever game. I died. Whatever, we're just gonna move on with our lives. Approval is uh, definitely tanking. I think taxes are to blame for that, for sure. My incredibly high tax rate. It doesn't display here, but... Uh, you know, I got them fairly balanced here, but on that... On that... Use your words, damn it. Down there at the bottom, though, it's just dreadful. It's like, grrr, people are pissy. Okay, yeah, so it's harder to do taxes. Massive runs of tax. Well, they're just gonna have to get over it. Because I need the money right now. Thank Hi. We would like to deepen the long-standing cooperation that exists between our two nations. We enjoy our privilege. Yes, privileged relationship. Uh, spiritual blah blah blah. Truly, we are all seeking a gentle balance. Yeah. Awesome. We don't really have anything to trade with you. So it was a good call. Good talk. So Chickenistan hasn't attacked us. 
And I'm not really interested in attacking them, what with my three infantry divisions. I'd like for this war to just be over. Like, random event got random on me. And that sucked. Let's talk to the ambassador. Good day, ambassador. Would you be- It's always a pleasure, your excellency. I would be happy to meet you. That's nice. Chickens. He ignores my phone call, because he's not pressured to fight me. Oh, he's not pressured to give in, like, peace. Or whatever. We'll be fine, probably. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. So yeah, the game uh, definitely does appear to be harder in that, uh, well, running my 50% taxes. God, I'm having a terrible time speaking right now. My brain's just all frazzled. That was another distraction that popped up. Yeah, 50% taxes seems to definitely tank uh, prove them harsher. You know, that's, that's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna have to ease off the taxes battle. We're just gonna donate this turn slice to charity. Um. Well, damn, that's rough. I don't have a, uh. I don't have a CTU yet. There's no way I could have gotten a CTU yet. I haven't finished rebuilding my country. Um, we're just gonna send in the army. That's gonna piss people off. Along with the Karifi, for sure. Hello, United States man. I'm not exactly sure at what point I'm going to lower taxes. I haven't decided yet. Me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have always been passionate about Basinji and its people. And it apostrophe as people. To be posted there. Well, for me, it is always a delight seeing you, Ambassador. The highlight of my day, even. You are too kind. Thank you, Your Excellency. All right, have a nice I day. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. You're welcome. We can chat again soon. Yeah. Yeah, good chat. Good talk, everyone. Good talk. Ah. <laughs> uh, I might restart for this fucking turn war and one war that popped up. Like, holy shit. Yeah, a bunch of my units just got vaporized. And that was not a repulsed attack at all. That was a loss. We took an L there. And that has definitely upset my people. I guess the answer to when am I lowering taxes is now. Take it down to 30%. We might have to cut some benefits for you guys, though. We'll see. Yeah, I might just uh, restart the game. Turn war, uh, turn one, random one. That is the rudest the game has been to me at the start of the game. And I feel wronged. Cheated. Bamboozled. Screwed. Because I really can't afford an army right now. We're busy rebuilding, man. Well, let me go ahead and burn all of the money that I don't have on this tank brigade. I'll stick with it one more turn, even though this means that I'm not going to be able to have a military to effectively help me. Uh, with, uh, oh, we'll do things. I guess I will actually have some money to do things. That's nice. Jamie Stan has launched an attack against us. Significant casualties have been reported. That is another attack that we did not repel. Yeah, we didn't lose anything. We just also didn't repel it. And my fundamentalist approval has just, like, flown into the tank. 
Like, the absolute gutter. Like, the fundamentalists are really pissed at me. They are rioting, as a matter of fact. What the shit? What the hell happened? Is it the constant attacks and evasions? Could that be it? <laughs> are they really upset that our country is like... Oh, hello, money. Oh, hello, money. I'm not like... Alright, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. So fundamentalists have decided to riot now. That's terrible, because we're not done rebuilding our country yet. A lot of things are terrible right now. Oh, okay. The money problem appears to have fixed itself. I was making a shit ton of cash. Okay, we'll hire another infantry unit. Um, and I guess I'll put it at the border. Uh... I don't have the money for this. Well, good news is that people's approval has gone up. Better news is that Chicken of Stan hasn't attacked me, but I burned a significant chunk of my cash on setting up that army there at the border. I, I guess I'm willing to stick with it. You know, I'm not gonna give up. Strongly tempted to restart, but I'll, I'll roll up the punches and we'll see where this takes us. Unfortunately, we're just not financially stable right now, and I'm not able to continue. Like, I can't even get my goods unlocked here. I started the dam really early. I wasn't expecting to have to spend money on the fucking tank brigade, and I actually can't continue rebuilding my country. Which is bad, by the way. We don't have those marketable resources, uh, stuff to sell. We're, uh, we're pretty screwed right now. I'm just gonna click enter. I'm not gonna try that hard. Terrible floods and chicken st Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they declared war on me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. I'm gonna fucking help them. Oh, what, they got even more pissy at me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what I fucking care about. Yeah, okay, yeah. They're like, Burr, hey, buddy. Give me free money. Speaking of free money. I ain't sharing shit. We gotta finish rebuilding our country, man. <sighs> Stupid resources. Resources made out of trash. I don't even have enough money to resolve that problem either. I've been short on cash. My approval continues to be awful. What is pissing off the fundamentalists so much? Other than my brother and these policies, apparently. And the 30% tax rate, which you know. Yay! Everyone feels sorry for Basenji. That fundamentalist approval. All our loyalty points. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to an early coup. <laughs> I don't have enough money to hold this together. <laughs> Might have started the dam too soon. Might have started the dam too soon. The... Yeah. 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 I might have started it too soon. I'm willing to concede that. Turn one dam. Fucking game. I need to finish rebuilding the country. I need to tax people even more. I'm not canceling the dam. You can't make me. Uh, 
Yes, help me. <laughs> Give me plus one million dollars per turn. Okay. We can do this. We're going to imprison the Monarchists. Finally our nation can start to heal this great country of ours. It is so great. Let's lower the taxes a bit. Okay, policies. As much as I want to help you guys out here, I think it's time for me to concede that I can't feed all these projects. Let's uh, start taking money back from the Disaster Relief Fund. As great and fun as it is and all, to really balance all this approval and support here, gonna have to take the owl. I'll have to take the owl. I don't wanna, but I will. Fundamentalists are so furious. 10% approval, yeah. No okay. god. Damn, I'm gonna have to accept this loan. This is you suffering from high unemployment. Listen, you. I'm busy here. I'm running a country. Get out of my way, harlot. Okay. What's gonna pay for itself? I have media products, at least. I can export these and get Patriot approval. Let's uh, see if I can find a, a buyer for my media products. Thank you. Are you interested, sir? Okay. Good. And probably should have I should have sold these a few turns ago. It's me fucking, like, overreacting and going off the deep end. I could have been getting more money sooner. And if I am going to salvage this position, I could have certainly used more money sooner. That's your with being silly there, and I apologize for being dumb. Goodbye. Okay. We can salvage this. We can fix this. Uh, suddenly, now we have shit tons of cash raining all over us again. I think the game is once again a lying sack of shit. But, uh... Other. 201 million. I mean... I guess I'm not just gonna... I'm not gonna push a button. Because I don't want that to go away, right? <laughs> oh no, it magically went away. Oh, now an asteroid's coming. game okay i thought the developers fixed this lion sack of shit interface and now it's just being more deceptive than what it was previously um i don't care about the speech This is not a fitting dialogue conversation at all. That was a terrible speech. That didn't transition at all. Well, thanks, game. No kidding, my speech failed to impress the nation. What the hell? Now I'm only losing this much money? Instead of, like, the 66? What is real? What is real? <laughs> I have to I have to repair this loyalty though. If I uh if I don't stop losing all these loyalty points, there will be an early coup. I didn't even really buy anything with my money. I think it's all the trade deals that went through that uh caused me to stop losing as much money. So that's good. Fundamentalist approval is really bad. 
but increasing their approval is just so painful. Hmm. What the hell here is gonna save me? 50 million for 1 million per turn. That'll pay off. Never. Mass counterfeiting operation would be great. I guess we'll start working towards global shipping giant. This almost pays for itself. Almost. I can't trust this game. I don't know what the hell is real. This fucking interface, man. How much money am I really losing? Do you have any other money hidden in other that I need to worry about? That is, of course, highly and grossly, like, wrong. Erroneous. Fucking lying sack of shit game. <laughs> Trick in a stand, do you want to end this? Thank you. You would? He doesn't seem to be brief. He cries out to the operator. My the operator says, calm down. There is silence. Back on. I don't care about this joke. Tap. Oh, did the war magically end without me being told because suddenly they like me more? Or... <sighs> we are very well. What is this game now? Yeah, yeah. I think that is the case. But I don't recall that being the case. Like, you know, priorly, like, I don't recall the interface, like, lying to me that. So it's like, when they patched the game, they ended up including that bug, and I guess we're no longer at war with Chickenistan. We have, like, White Peace after they beat me up a few times. So, that's a thing. I'm spending more money on the military than I'd like, but that's a thing, I guess. We're still supporting this dam. We can't give any aid. We're just gonna do nothing. Rather than condemn. We're gonna sit pat. And look at these approval ratings, like, continue to fall. Why? Is it the 16% taxes? I guess. I can't even hold Pat at 16% taxes. Woof. Yeah, I'm never gonna get my approval up at this rate. I did tank it too much at the beginning. Uh, whenever you don't make that much money from taxes anyway, so there is that. That is fundamentally true. Yeah, they really did modify how much money you... Uh, how painful running taxes is. Woo! Like, what the hell, people? In order for me to rebuild this country, you gotta throw me a fucking bone. <laughs> you can't just be getting all pissy with me. I don't really need to be running this that high. Or this, for that matter. So that's more money I can save. Yeah, this is rough. Damn. Okay. Roll with this. I have to spend ten million. Will I will I upset my neighbor? I think I'm gonna spend the ten million. What? 
You want me to attack Chickenistan within the next three turns? <laughs> well, I mean, I want the minister on my side. Oh, boy. This is definitely going to be a thing. This is definitely going to be a thing. Okay, let's let's rebuild everyone's support. Thank you. We want it is interesting. I don't have a good intelligence report on any of these folks, so it's mainly just me guessing. Like how they feel. Of course they don't feel this way. We proved that before. I don't know whether they're going to be worried about Western imperialism. We, we are wary of the way Western powers behave in the security. Aha! That's how they feel. Good. Well, I probably lowered my relationship with them then. Hey, Axtogen. Thank you for... We would like to deepen. We enjoy... Yes... Yeah. Unfortunately. Yes, it is a necessary evil. You're right. America, help me! Good day. It's always I would be happy. Yay. I don't have anything I want to adjust. I'm just going to keep bleeding money. He says as he goes to adjust something frantically. 13%. Hopefully that doesn't ruin everyone's approval forever. I don't have environmental policy paper protectionist, so we tried. That did not help my approval ratings. America, save me. I'm sorry about everything. Please help me. Tell me. I have all well you are too. Fasenji's political situation is dire. I beg of you, please help me regain the support of my people. It's disappointing that you can't maintain control of your own country. Very well. I'll write an editorial in the newspaper in support of your so-called leadership. Wow, America! I Very well. I hope God damn! I've only been in power for like a year and some change. My country is falling apart still after the revolution overthrew the king. <laughs> the Christ. America, fuck you. Okay, we, we're still losing points because of fundamentalist unrest. I might do that attack against Chickenistan. I need this damn to fucking finish. Gonna be rough. If that damn fails. Ugh. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. I'm not gonna bother spinning that. Um. I don't. I need to get the fundamentalist out of hell. Yay! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Yay! We can fix this! <laughs> oh, shit. We can fix this. Alright. I'm gonna attack. 25 loyalty points, that's right. I can't. Okay. I could afford it, but I can't afford it. That minister's just gonna have to go to hell. I would very much enjoy his support. Like, he would help me earn loyalty points, but I can't. Like, dude. <laughs> Not gonna happen. 
Like, holy shit, man. You're fucking breaking my balls here. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. We can... We can salvage this. Probably. We can probably salvage this. We got our dam. Of course, the Hermit Kingdom starts with a pretty good, like, great firewall thing. We're going to have a whopping... Yeah, we're going to roll with 1% taxes, I think. 3% taxes. We'll roll with 3% taxes. I'd like to get that GDP bump. And I think I'm going to sit on my money. And take a look at these policies. Put a little bit into the disaster relief fund. Can't go hog wild with spending though. I need to, I need to accumulate some cash to get some buffs up, improve the country. I'd love to fix my GDP here, because that'll really help capitalist approval. Oh boy. Rising unemployment rate, huh? It shouldn't be. Fix it. Stagnant economy. Sucks. How much would improved education cost? Uh, do it. Alright. Babelistan! My friends! Thank you. Oh yeah, it's my it's my brother who's fucking fucking with the interface. That's what it is. You're right. Chickens! <laughs> hey! We would like to deep. Yeah, deepen our cooperation. There totally won't be another war, right, guys? Right? Oh no, I can't. I can't lose more fundamentalist approval. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, this... Jesus. The fucking religious people got me over, but yeah, he's disappointed that I didn't fulfill his request, and I lost some of his respect. Now I'm losing a loyalty point every turn, because he's pissy at me, because I didn't suicide Basenji by attacking Chickenistan. So now I have to cope with that. Thanks, Gabe. Fucking jerk. Okay. Um. I want to get this. Definitely want to get that. Uh, okay, we can probably do that, probably, probably, we'll probably fix this, we can, we can make this all better, we can probably make this all better, it'll be fine. The, the, the sad thing, of course, is that I'm the one who fucking unlocked the chickens, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna spend money on a foreign service thing. I have to have a minister who fucking likes me before I can engage in any of the things I want to engage in. Oh, right. Right. I can open borders. Yeah. Even with the chickens. That can increase my tourism. That gives me more money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could have done that sooner for cash. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna reject them this time. Down 0% from last turn. Okay, good. <laughs> you like my sound effects, guys? Like, ah! <laughs> Thankfully, I got all those treasury events really early. Okay. Whew. 
man, it would have been nice to have rolled oil. Oil and media products would have been really good. I don't really have the economy to be importing things. This is even with my dam. made these fucking trade deals so much sooner I'm pissed at myself for not doing that While we those who say really nah right that was the extreme line rather than the moderate line whoops thank you I I don't really need to see the point in moving my army my relations are pretty good with folks uh, they started off low, courtesy of the fact that I picked uh, the Hermit Kingdom, but we do start with the Great Firewall, uh, which is a perk uh, from uh, our isolationist nature. But yeah, we started off with poor relations, so that could have been nothing from Chickenistan, but because they disliked us so much, it was a surprise attack on turn one. And they're the ones who still like us the least anyway, I'm not gonna bother. Hey, General. Oh. How is morale within our armed forces? The armed forces are satisfied with your leadership. They know you are doing your best. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks. That's all for now. I'm sure. <sighs> Alright. If I had those nukes, I could just be printing money all over town, but I don't. Unfortunately. Well, I could have given up on this run sooner. Turn one war with Chickenistan, plus some, uh, inefficient play uh, from my part. Just fucking running around like a chicken with its head cut off. But I think we managed to... We've, we've stabilized. Uh, we're gonna vote in favor of this resolution. Russia ditched us last time. Russia can get fucked this time. Fuck you, Russia. Okay. Okay. Lots of approval and support uh, from these folks. Because of the fact that I'm barely charging them anything in taxes. I'm now gaining a loyalty point. Uh, because of my public approval. Which is good. It's definitely good. Definitely good. Relations with Bellistan cool. Yeah. That happened. I don't have a whole lot I feel I can really do this turn. I don't feel compelled to raise taxes right now. I'd like to get capitalist support higher so that whenever I enable this, uh, that will actually give me 15 million a turn. That's when capitalist approval is greater than 60. It ain't greater than 60 right now. I could build a stadium. Um... I could uh, choose this option to ditch protectionism uh, in favor of exploiting the environment. And I might do that since that event already passed anyway. We might very well. I'd like to get a strong GDP because that would increase their... Oh, we actually do have a strong GDP. Okay, prosperous economy. All right. We have 36 million there in the disaster relief fund. We have corrupt institutions that lower lowers approval with all factions. Uh, my corruption has gone up here. I see. It has. And I haven't done a good job of tanking that. Alright. I actually don't recall how much in the way of corrupt institutions I've had, but we'll deal with that problem now, I think. Not a whole lot I want to do with this turn. Let's stare angrily at Farouk's uh, encyclopedia entry. So for now, you're stuck with each other. Man, I don't know how much lower public support has to go, or if I did, I know what I forgot, before Farouk throws an early coup. It might have been in the teens, it might have been lower than that, but holy wow, like, did that good close. That definitely got close. All right, let's 
Let's remain stable in this situation for now. We're, we're treading water here. You're deeply concerned, huh? Well, I have the money to spend, although this upsets the capitalist. This also hurts tourism, which hurts my income in the long run. <laughs> I think I'm gonna upset the liberals here. The Sinju citizens are growing more patriotic. Okay. We also have a patriot supporter. It's good. It's good. It's good. Because we got patriot approval so high. So we're actually gaining some loyalty points every turn. It's good. We were losing five, six per turn at our worst. We're down to losing a whopping two per turn. All right, we have honest institutions now, which improves our UN relations. Everything is great in this country. No corruption, so everyone's uh, approval ratings of me are strong. Good, good, good. Let's call our friends. Nah, that, that issue there is still not advisable. U.S. is really enjoying us now. Good day, Ambassador. We thought I would be happy. Good, 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 good. Thank no. Good. And we'll call the chickens, see if anything interesting has popped up that's worth conversing with them about. Thank uh... Extremism. We must. Ah, I see. Spiritual leadership is important. Oh, theology is better left to the priests. I see. I'll keep that in mind, probably. Ah, we're poor. Sorry, patriots. That sound effect is one hundred percent necessary, by the way. It is my pleasure. What can you do for me? Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have always been well for your two. Nah, we'll just let him go. Ah, we'll ask for insight. Tell me, Ambassador, do you have any insight? You might give it to us. Some of the other countries in that region. It's not really appropriate for me to be spreading gossip about your neighbors. <laughs> I believe very well. I hope. Useless as always, Ambassador. Oh, great. The Sinji citizens are increasingly identifying as fundamentalists. That's the problem I need. But it's primarily patriots. That's for damn sure. Capitalist uh, support? Or capitalist uh, society? Ain't that damn much. 8%. Of course, uh, the patriots are just like holding like perpetually frowny face here at me. Okay, in two turns, we'll have sufficient capitalist support. Two turns. And then I can get an extra 15 million. Of course, have to factor paying for that, so it's not a full 15 million. And we might grab that cartel before our next uh, trade uh, deal. We'll see. We'll see. Do I actually feel like doing anything on my turns? No? I don't think so. Continuing to hold stable here, I want to get uh, support up from the capitalists. I want to ensure I get that support up as quickly as I can, so I'm willing to drop earning some money here. And then after I get capitalist support to 63% uh, in two turns, I'll raise taxes up a bit more. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it now. Although it would be nice to get some money. It's also not that much of a tax increase. Only two million per tech. That's not strong at all. Of course, I don't have a whole lot of money to put in my glorious Swiss account either. Hell, I might not even put any money into that damn thing. Rip score. Of course, because I fiddle with this shit, I'm going to lose a time slice, right? Yep. Good thing I didn't want to do anything with it.
I need a loyal foreign minister. Who's my foreign minister? Is it you? No. You're my defense minister. You're my foreign minister. Well, you need to give me a fucking mission, man. Give me a mission so I can do it for you, so that I can start running those deals. So I can start making more money. Throw me a fucking bone here, bruh. Bruh. Fuck, fuck you, Karifi, I guess. We're just throwing them under the bus. <laughs> fuck the Karifi support, because I can't be upsetting the capitalists right now. Tough choices, tough choices. Okay, we've got a hundred million in the bank. That's nice. This is going to be another turn where we don't do much of anything. Sure. War has broken out between Chickenistan and Babelistan. Uh, and my deals expired. Okay, so this could be an opportunity for me to trade solely with Axtogen, so as not to upset either of these uh, two nations. That's probably what I'm going to do. Let's go. What's up, my friends? Thank you. I'm not gonna enable the cartel. Let's discuss trade. Oh, they already have media products, so I can't trade them both. That's right. That's right, damn. Forgot. Okay, so I will have to deal media products to one of those two, and it's probably gonna be Babelistan A, because uh, lore-wise, uh, in this reality, they helped us overthrow the king. And B, lore-wise, Chickenistan bombed us. How do you and I'm a little sore about that. You know. Good. Perhaps for reasons you can contemplate. Thank you. Or you can not contemplate them if you don't want. Let's uh, sell our media and entertainment. That'll be fine. Okay. Let's uh, get that global shipping giant. Good, 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 good. 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 Alright, what do I want to do now? Um... Propaganda headquarters, right? <laughs> to all policy effects. That would distract them from total obedience for now. I wonder how long that lasts. It's a one time boost, but I don't know how long it lasts. Alright. I might want to keep this money on hand, because there could be an event that pops up. So we'll keep the rest of the money on hand for now. And also, I feel more comfortable raising taxes. We'll do 10%. That's easy. <sighs> well, there goes capitalist support. Unless I raise it up in this conversation. The Honorable Basenji people. Which means I'm not going to get my 15 million. I, I wish to... The American warmongers Boo, America. invade every country in the world and are thinking twice about crossing the great nation of Basenji. Yeah. That's like this none of this fits to Boo America. I guess we'll just choose this option. Even though the pluses, I guess. The 
Nobis and G need ever to fear losing their job again. Yeah, still a terrible speech. Nothing really connected well with Boo America. Got my care my character is a terrible speech giver. His oratory skills suck. 59% approval. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, trash game. Trash game is trash. It's like, you wanted to get money? <laughs> no. <sighs> Fucking game. Well, exploitative. Fine game. Fine. Be that way. And the fundamentalists lost 1% support, apparently. You know, I would love to see the various effects for what attacks is going to have. I would very much like to know how it affects approval ratings, because all I have here is just approval plus, approval minus. That way I can actually determine how much I need to adjust like taxes one way or the other. Because over here in policies, I'm shown as getting plus two per turn. So it seems that taxes at a 10% is subtracting three here. It would be nice if the game just automatically fed me that data though, instead of me just throwing out tax numbers and seeing where it goes. Now, by how much of a percentage does tax do taxes end up affecting like approval rating? Because at like 3%, I was swimming in approval, right? Even from the fundamentalists. The moral of the story is, what the fuck? <laughs> fundamentalists are only 13% of the country, so it's not that big of a deal. So there's that. <sighs> I'm actually more annoyed by this update than I am, <laughs> like, enjoying it. Certainly made the game harder, though. <laughs> but is it more enjoyable? I don't have a good answer for that. So in order for me to really, like, solidify up my fundamentalist approval here, I'm gonna have to either dip into religious schools, which is go ahead and set my head on fire, which means I'm gonna have to lose one point of liberal approval per turn, or I'm gonna have to do some adjustments in the policies. Okay, how do we fix this? I guess we'll do a voluntary prayer week leave. Yeah, I mean, because we already ban alcohol. These greedy religious people. Their fucking needs. Alright, we'll do that. Did we reestablish our deals? We did, didn't we? Oh, shit, I didn't mean to call you. I meant to call the Bella Stan, but I'm pretty confident we did. Good. Goodbye. Still waiting for that, uh, that mission, Foreign Minister. Thank Oops. No. They didn't have anything they wanted to discuss. Continuing to get the loyalty up there. Whew. I'm used to, like, swimming in banked loyalty points by now. You know, getting free tank brigades and getting support from the ethnic Karifis. We have no banked loyalty points because everyone got pissed. Because of what I did. Because of what I did. Okay. <sighs> that 
that fundamentalist approval. It's just I can improve, like, the approval of so many other groups, like, either temporarily or permanently, through, uh, the building of infrastructure. But fundamentalists are just so hard to support. So fucking expensive to support, too. Like, fucking greedy bastards. <laughs> I need money. I need things. I need things. Give me things. Uh, up eleven percent. All right, it's because of the the fucking event that triggered. Right, 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 right. Patriots are only increasing by one percent. Wonder if I can stabilize it at like zero. Let me find out. We'll try that. I don't think I'm gonna call anyone. Pretty boring turds, I know, but I don't really need to do a whole lot with my time units right now. Cool. Good turn, everyone. Okay, so Patriot approval increased 1%. Um, fundamentalist approval increased 1%, but liberals and capitalists held steady there. Which means that it seems like 12% is the best I can do. Still make a good bit of money, of course, but, uh... And by triggering this chain, I'll actually lower the approval of liberals. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's definitely true. Okay, so uh, we'll fire the Wildlife Refuge then, I reckon. Yeah, we'll fire that. That's only 30. Patriots are almost at 100% now. They're at 99%. Good, 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 good. Um, we'll buy this Military ready Readiness Doctrine. We'll call our friends. Chickenistan is slowly losing approval with us. Because of our deals with uh, our deal with Babelistan. Don't ask me if I care. I'm I'm just pleased that I managed to like hold stable. If I was playing this on hard difficulty, that definitely would have been L though. I I can't see how the coup wouldn't have fired. Um. The Patriots don't need more approval from me. That's the thing. As much as I'd like other money here, like I'm actually gonna throw the other money out of the out the window. We'll increase that liberal support. Yes, yes, you too. Let's see if the United States can give me any more usefulness. It's only gonna be like an extra one million dollars, I bet. Uh Tell me, Ambassador, how can I encourage greater American investment in our economy? We're not a charity, Your Excellency. Oh wow, shut down. Given our long-standing friendship, I will happily convey your He's probably gonna shut me down about that too. I have always been well for your two. Don't worry. He'll give me a handout eventually. We'll have the president of the United States over in no time. Oh hey! We actually have a job. I mean, it's from our defense, our communications minister rather, than our foreign guy. Uh, we can work with this. Fundamentalist support to 76%. And how many turns do I have within the next five turns? Well, I might luck into an event that does it for me. That'd be pretty cool, huh? I guess I'll spend all my money now. We are going to offer a faith-based education, and we're going to support the old ways. The old ways are best, I guess. I am disgusted with myself, but here we are, running Vicenci. Don't worry. 
America will be back. They always come back. No calls to make. Let's go. Uh, Anti-Western terrorists, huh? Offer them financial aid and armament. Ask the United States to provide military. All the Patriots like that? That's curious. Patriots are like, fuck yeah! Invite America! What? <laughs> that really did. Like, the Patriots would be like, fuck yeah! Like, the Patriots are happy if we send in the army, offer them financial aid, or get the United States in here. What the fuck, Patriots? Is the game lying to me here? I feel like the game is lying to me. No! Huh. Huh. How about that? <laughs> Whatever game. We're gonna we're gonna bump up the fundamental support and we'll get it done. And uh, if I think there's like a thread of it being lost. I'll, uh, you know what? Let's just fucking get it now. I have the money. Fundamentalist strength increases. Chastity Council. So be it. Let's just ensure we get that, uh, success. Successfully. I don't want to risk that being lost to an event. I would like some minister support here. It looks like my, uh, my defense minister got over it. Good. Fucking cunt. I don't use that word lightly. Thank you for taking. Patriot just wants to see someone get blown up. <laughs> you might be right. You folks weren't the ones worried about Western imperialism, I don't think. I think it was Extragen who was. Gosh. If only I could remember things. I don't care about funding shit in your country. Hey, hey, rooster. That's right. Unauthorized breeding is bad. <laughs> Human rights and freedoms. <laughs> oh no. You anti-Western terrorists. Tourism revenue declines. Well, fuck you, anti-Western terrorists. Cause America. That's right, a videotape. Sucks to be them, though. We don't have VCRs here. They need to get with the times. Look at that. That's a face you can trust right there. Then we kill him. <laughs> Suck it, America! Alright, what's her favor? What's in the box? $25 million. Best favor. Thank you. Oh, shit. Patriots are a little upset. So are the liberals about everything that happened. It's okay. Freedom. It isn't free, folks. Cost folks like you and me a buck o five. I wonder if, uh, because of those, uh, those terrorists, though, I might end up ex seeing one of those hidden achievements. The one hidden achievement I don't have, which is like FSNG Liberation Front, I don't rightfully know how to trigger that. I know Jeff has it. Population frightened by this new domestic threat. Blame glorious leader. Of course. Of course you blame me. How many liberals do we have? <laughs> so, you're saying a strong part of the population then, I see. <laughs> uh, we're getting a nice.
nice amount of loyalty points now. Good, good, good. We'll start banking these things and oh, I don't know, halfway through the fucking game. That's right, Middle Slime Hunt. Look, and finally we can start banking these things. My Karifi support is going to be awful. I don't, I don't know about whether I want to do a referendum. I might have to shoot Tariq. We'll see. This is not what I want for our people. Oh, the Sinji citizens are increasingly identifying as liberals. Oh, yeah? By how much? No! Oh, how about that? Ripped a chunk out of the fundamentalist there. They did, they did. Now we're at plus nine per turn. Glorious! Fuck you, Farouk. You had your chance, buddy. You had your fucking chance. You might get another chance. But you did have a chance, for sure. I haven't given a successful fucking speech so far in this game. Let's call our friends. Hey, USA! USA! You're gonna give me that damn money. Still waiting for my foreign minister to give me a job that I can do for him. Good. Now, one of these folks might definitely like United States investment in their countries, but I'm not willing to risk offending them for it. Chickens are slowly continuing to lose their approval with me, of course. There, we spent our turn calling our friends. Uh oh. Well, the fundamentalist minister is dead. <laughs> we did a job for him, and then he died. The end. What's up, Tariq? Excellency, do you have a moment? Yeah. Uh, yes, what is it? You may be aware a widespread failure uh -oh. of financial corporate governance in the United States has led to uh -oh. a new global This, this the challenge. The United States as a global consumer has slowed down growth in most of the developing world. Yes, Basanji will be experiencing the crunch as private businesses struggle to stay profitable. If you don't mind me saying, you must watch the treasury closely and be prepared to protect the country from rising unemployment. All right, Tariq. Thanks. I didn't say you could stand in my fucking office, though. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. So, I heard about uh money being a problem and all. I heard that was going to be a thing. So, uh before you lose all of your money, Tell me, Ambassador, how can I encourage greater American investment in our economy? Foreign aid? I can make a case to the Secretary of State to invest $75 million in the Basenji economy. It's just taxpayer money, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Military partnership? Given our long-standing friendship and cooperation, we would like to propose a military partnership with the United States. A military partnership? That sounds like something that would advance my career. You'll receive new military units. Inside? Tell me, Ambassador. Do you well, I did hear some gossip from the Ambassador of New Zealand the other day. New intelligence report. Special operative so I can assassinate the rooster? Ambassador, I need not tell you that there are enemies to both of our countries that need to be eliminated. We need one of your special operatives. I don't know what you're Ah, damn it. US does not engage. Ah, fine. Tell me. I well, you're too. I thought I was going to get my revenge <laughs> on the rooster. <laughs> so be it. Oh, new intelligence report about the rooster is available. Fancy that. He's narcissistic for a chicken. Thanks. Good intel. Thanks, Ambassador of New Zealand. <laughs> We haven't forgotten. We have not forgotten what Chicken of Stan has done to us. Don't worry. We'll get America to give us that. We'll get America to give us that and more. A 
America will want to give us all of the good things. Because America loves us. Yes. Yes! <laughs> uh, this costs five shackle buck millions per turn to increase my capitalist approval. Per turn as well. Um... This doesn't give me a ticker on approval per turn. Up here does, though. But I still need to start saving my money. Because of the fact of what's coming. And it's coming, believe me. The game has warned us. Uh, Tariq has uh, given me the signal uh, so that I know what to expect. So I'm a bit wary about spending my cash now. And I might up taxes. How much could I get if I just decided to go hog wild with taxes, you know? Just did this for one turn? I mean, <clears throat> wouldn't be that big of a deal or anything. We just did it for one turn. I mean, you guys would probably be fine if I did it for a turn. I mean, there's no need to get all pissy about it at all. I mean, come on. It's a turn of taxes. Just one turn. Just one little turn hug. That's all. Eh, just, just one little turn hug. It'll probably be fine. Just, yeah, we'll just, just have the turn, and it'll make everyone feel better. Just one turn. It's just, you know. I'm sure you approve, Parliamentary Advisor Tariq. I hope I don't have to murder you later. It'll be perfect. And we're banking up loyalty points. Everything is great. Okay, so let's just move on. Hmm. Hmm. That's what I think. See? Our relations are great. Look at our approval scores. No one's upset except for the liberals because of what transpired. Everyone is wonderfully happy. Everything is great. A okay, you see? Nothing. They all heard that it was just gonna be one turn, and they're like, cool, great, I like that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm here for you guys, yeah. I totally, like, I wouldn't possibly do it for more than one turn. I mean, you can trust me. Trusty Grimace. Trusty, um, like, like I wouldn't cheat you guys. Like, no, I probably wouldn't do that. We're probably okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here, here, let's have a prestigious university, guys. Let's celebrate. Yay! We'll sp I'll even spend five billion per turn. Isn't that right, liberals? We can be happy. We have religious school and a university. Everything's coming up great. I mean, my goodness, I mean. Certainly I would like a task from our foreign administer here so I could start making even more money, but such is life, such is life. I mean, yeah, it's, it's rough. I mean, I guess you are loyal to me. No, it has to be at least 60. That's not good enough, that damn foreign minister. We refused to sign on, noting that the resolution was unfair. That's right, that's right. Sure was, and all of a sudden, oh no, I ended the turn. Oh no. Oh, my tourism revenue. Oh, my UN relations. Do you have a moment? Yes. Yes, what is it? A number of major industries have experienced falling sales and are unable to compete with Asian manufacturing. Let me guess. They are asking for government loans to avoid bankruptcy. These industries are too big to fail. They are so interconnected to Bajinshi's economy that their bankruptcy would have dire implications. You must decide which sectors the government can afford to bail out. What happens if we cannot afford to rescue these companies? Well, in addition to frustrating our capitalists, you will plunge this country into a depression. 
and that means our tax revenue will decline sharply. It always comes down to money, doesn't it? I've never plunged this country into depression before. I've, like, except for, like, the first time I played this game, I think I've pretty much had enough money to, like, bail out everyone. Even though you don't have to bail out everyone. Also, by the way, uh, my tax rate of 50% is not resulting in plummeting approval values like I thought it would. I mean, we've lost some overall popularity because of the sad time events that have happened and, of course, our financial crisis here. Um, so, the following industries are at risk of failing without direct financial intervention from the People's Republic. We can get an overview of how important these folks are. Like, say, for example, the banks here are the most important. It would cost me $150 million. Uh, I've got some turns to the side on all these folks. Uh, fewer turns for some than others. Uh, but the banks uh, have a pretty good uh, prospect of paying me back this money. But it would be absolutely devastating if we lost them. So you can see why fixing that would be a big deal. But let's go with these folks who are... I've got a low you know, timer for. Like uh, this telecommunications provider. It's also the most indebted company. So they really need that bailout. No, bail them out. Now we, uh, we have this pharmaceutical company. They've done awful at spending. We're going to go ahead and bail them out too. And now this automotive company, ugh, the whole automotive industry, their prospect is pretty poor. So our odds of getting our money back here are pretty low. But they are of high importance to our economy. They've apparently suffered the greatest due to the pressure, or at least it's arguable. We'll take care of them too. And so finally we get to the banks, which of course we're going to bail out as well, because my goodness, the banks, they need the help. Like, losing them would be absolutely devastating. Now we can almost afford to do them all. We're like 30 million short on this turn. But I'm going to hold on to this money for a turn because I don't know what kind of event might pop up next turn. And uh, I'd like to keep some money on hand. Speaking of which, um, I'm going to start up in this. Our GDP also has suffered tremendously because of our recession. Uh, because the whole global economy has been challenged apparently by Asian manufacturing. So there's that. Okay, um, tempted to spend a bit of my money here on, like, some infrastructure, just to, like, shore up some, uh, some approval scores here, and I think I will do that. Uh, I'll touch on that national defense doctrine, I think. Hmm, or I might do the arms bazaar. Ah, no, I need to hold on to this money. Let's call our friends. Nope. No new dialogue there. Let's uh, talk to the general. How is Mora? If you don't mind me saying. Good, 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 good. Love you. Thankfully, I do have the defense minister, which is propping up military approval per turn. I, I don't want to imagine putting Farouk in charge of the military. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like a terrible idea. Putting your fucking brother slash arch nemesis in charge of your military. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, that won't go bad, right? <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's uh, go ahead and intern. I might uh, walk away from the computer to choke slam uh, my dog barking outside. We'll see. Excellency! Money! Yay! You know I'm in such a good mood that I'm not going to execute them. I'm in a good mood. Good mood. Yes, Basenji's in a recession. Have you heard? Did you know? Well, we're going to bail out the fisheries and the airlines. Take care of all of them. There. We've given everyone money. We're the best. We're the greatest people. 
doing our damnedest to make sure that our our nation, our greatest country, yes, <laughs> because we only have one country, stays together through it all. And we'll uh, start buying a few other things because, well, we had the money to. Yeah, yeah. Like some riot police, you know, for reasons. And uh, education grants. Okay. Alright. Our public, op our overall popularity is off the charts. It's not off the charts. We're doing pretty good. We'd be doing better if we actually had support from our ministers here. But none of them have really inundated us with jobs so that we could uh, get our uh, approval ratings up with them so that we can get more loyalty points banked. We're up to 43, finally. Actually allows us, uh, allows us to afford the top three options. I'm uh, really interested uh, in this uh, invitation to host Prayer from the Mountain option though, because it gains me support from the ethnic Karifis, whom I've thrown under the bus in this run, just to try and cultivate capitalist support, so as to get more money from the capitalist. Uh, I'm making such an income right now that it certainly is uh, enticing to maybe start a clandestine facility, but like none of these other options I think will be worthwhile. We're halfway through the game. I think I'm just going to bank my money, I'll work on building a bigger military, and uh, prepare to take down my brother Farouk. Because we're pretty strong right now. Uh, our 50% tax rate hasn't resulted in our approval ratings crashing for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure what's happening there, like, the update text, if we're to believe what the update text said, because the update text also said that it fixed, you know, these gross lies and inaccuracies as provided by the Treasury report, that the effects would be greater for running taxes, and yet, like, we're up to our 50% tax rate now, and, like, our greater effects are not being seen, like, Everyone's good. <laughs> we would have to get the clandestine facility in order to get the assassins, and I'd, I'd rather just fucking, like, get one from America. As for the time machine, that's... no. A terrorist from Chickenistan attempted to bomb a community center in Majimara, was fortunately caught by police before completing his objective. Hmm... Once again, folks from Chickenistan, huh? Alright, our agreements to export goods have expired. Uh, we have open borders with them. I am shutting my borders with Chickenistan. They're bad. Okay, let's uh, export my goods again. I'll run the cartel uh, after the this upcoming trade deal expires. We must descend. Sister Miriam Godwinson cannot save us here. Thank you. Are you taking it? Goats aren't that valuable, unfortunately. Of course. Yeah, our approval ratings remain strong. Jeez. Okay, yeah. It taxes for everyone. Fuck it. I love it. Shut up and give me your money. Okay. Mm. We're, uh, we're gonna get this counterterrorism unit now. No, we're not, because I need the rest of this stuff. My apologies. Let's get some visitor screening. Let's get this intelligence service headquarters. And now let's get the counterterrorism unit. We had a terrorist event. Uh, we didn't really lose much, but if we keep experiencing those, uh, they'll suffer greater and greater effects on us. Hmm. We'll closely regulate the number of rare goats to be hunted by a grenade. Okay. Can we fail another speech? Let's find out. 
The honorable Basenji people. I'm not gonna try for America Spy for a while until I actually get my approval up with the United States of America even higher. I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. Okay. I wish to address you the Yes, 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 yes. Our glorious revolution marked the day that we established our independence and our national identity. Yeah! Uh, what? Like, none of these directly tie into, like, that national identity thing. The closest thing I can think of is this. The Senji will provide new education credits for those youths who take up the cause to serve in our military. Despite the fact there's only one plus there, I think it makes the speech mo more coherent. Second, we shall raise statues in the capital depicting the greatness of our country and its leader. Which would be me. These pluses are misleading because the game also highly rewards you for having a coherent speech that ties in together. That being said, all my speeches have been trash. Our people will put their steadfastness. Still failed. I've had a bunch of lackluster speeches all around. I don't think I've ever failed that many speeches in a row in this game before. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Don't look at this egg about it. Oh well. What are we spending on our intelligence services? Five million, huh? I guess that's fine. We might eventually get some slivers of intel. <laughs> Not worried about the presidential guard. Uh... I don't feel like spending more money on, like, the sweatshop here maintaining that. We bailed out everyone. Our GDP is going to fix itself in time. We do have a rising unemployment rate, unfortunately. I'm not going to fix any of this stuff. My capitalist approval is pretty rough because of the recession right now. I don't know why the, the capitalists are so pissed at me because of the recession. It's not like I can fucking control the entire, like, global economy going this shit. Environmentalists try to ruin something new. <laughs> okay. Um... Do I want to buy anything? Thirty-three percent chance of doubling unit attack strength. It might not be successful. It's only a thirty-three percent chance. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna hold steady here. Yeah, we're just gonna hold the money. I'm not gonna make any calls or deals. We'll just roll on. Good idea that I support. The Sinji's in a recession. No. Is it? Is it really? Wow. Dude, I didn't know. Guys, we're in a recession. Holy shit. I can't believe it. We're gonna lower the taxes now. Cause I mean, we're in a recession. Why didn't I think of that, everyone? Hey guys. Have you heard? We're in a recession. Fine. We're in a recession? Fuck it. That's what I think of your recession. Low taxes. There we go. Happy days. Fuck recessions. They're for noobs. We'll repair this damn economy in no time.
Oh, yay! Yay! We had the money in our disaster relief fund. Relief fund. Thankfully. Phew! Now, we'll have, like, 21 million left after we click this button, so if another disaster pops up, we're fucked, but... Damn it, we're gonna try and keep those Karevi on lockdown. Okay. Capitalists are like, mm, fucking taxes, I mean, fucking, what the hell, I mean, who the fuck even cares, man? This whole economy is some shit, it's fucking, fucking, our uh, whole, like, economy is some shit, it's a recession. Man, yeah, I don't even care, man. I don't care what you're charging shit for taxes, me. We capitalists. We don't give a fuck, me. I'm like, really? Are you really gonna do this to me, capitalism? I mean, you can't come out. I mean, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking. I'm like, fine, be like that. So yeah, what's our, uh, what's our disaster relief fund to? Because some of those events, they don't take money from your actual treasury. It has to be in the disaster relief fund. But of course, you could very well end the game and still have a bunch of money left in this pool, which is frustrating, by the way. Bye, Fluffy Wolfie. All right, so with that in mind, and because our GDP is in a, a bit of a rough state right now, where, uh, you know, approval rating is so high across the board here, I've never really run, like, like, prohibited unions before. I've never, like, influenced labor relations beyond balanced. I'm almost tempted to explore it. Keynote, almost. Yeah, what the hell. We'll do a little bit with it, just to, like, ease the burden on the, on the capitalists. I mean, I'm charging low on taxes here, damn it. You know, I could probably just charge higher on taxes and fucking... If I boost up this capitalist support here. If I spend my very valuable loyalty bucks. My loyalty bucks. My loyalty bucks that I would use to improve Karifi support. Or get free tank brigades to crush Farouk. What the hell? We'll have dinner with the WTO director here. How much did that approve it by? Beautiful. Well, we did our part for the economy. Taxes are coming back. 19%. That'll do. I ain't bothering to call anyone. We're good. We good. Well, I don't have to worry about this event chain going to hell because we had our financial crisis and we don't have to deal with the plague. So that's nice. An extra six million dollars spent a turn, though. Blech. We can afford it. So we don't have to lose capitalist support. I guess. Why is everyone pissy? Oh, sorry, I couldn't fucking, like, magic away the plague. My bad. How's our friends doing? Thank we must work together to counter extremism. Many of these extremist groups. Oh, right. Right, right. Yes. Good. We'll defeat. We'll defeat Western imperialism. For sure. Hey. We are interested. I do not know what I find more insulting. Oh yes. Yes, of course. You did not want support from the American imperialists, because of course you did. Thank you. Issues. You want you want American yeah. support? <laughs> well, thank you for thanking you guys. Cool. Well, we spoke with our friends. We're just gonna end the turn here. Eventually we'll get out of this recession. And our economy will be great again. Uh, no. <laughs> All right.
right? Support is slipping with both the fundamentalists and liberals. Working conditions of Basenji are very poor. Are they? Huh. Yeah, how about that? I guess, uh, these whole unions thing. Yeah, it was, uh, it was doing a number on us. But hey, we have a stagnant economy now. Great! Was that the only thing I adjusted here? I did that. Uh, why is liberal support so low? I think we're uh, not going to have a total ban on alcohol, just uh, an alcohol consumption ban in public. That way we can get support with everyone. Yes, our liberals are a bit upset because of our empowered industry, so that's the effect that that has, and I imagine the inverse will be true. Okay. Well, good. Glad we experimented with that. Glad we saw the effects. I'm happy we did it, everyone. Great! We made our country amazing. I don't really have anything to say or add to that. We pledge our rights for thee. Sports pretty good. Patriots are half the Sinji society and culture. Excellency! Yes! Hydroelectric power. Oh good, the pharmaceutical industry totally repaid shit tons of cash to me. That's great. Thanks, pharmaceuticals. They, they repaid back half the money. I guess that's not terrible. I guess it could have been worse. Thanks. Come on, GDP gets strong again. You know you want to. GDP. Get strong again. Wrong. No, 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 it doesn't re it Hold on, Grim Life. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get back to you. <laughs> you wait a fucking minute. So, it doesn't reduce crime by increasing alcohol consumption. Instead, what it does is it increases crime. It's a red air, and it's going up. Crime is bad. We currently have a safe country, so we could perhaps do it all the way, but we're keeping it to privacy only. Alright. Ah, uh, I don't really have anything I want to do. I uh, kind of got taxes uh, lowered here. Relatively lowered. Uh, so as not to, uh, I want the GDP to get strong again to increase my capitalist support. Keep it high up. Before I really start, ah, who the fuck do we want my kid? It's yellow, that's good enough. We gotta make money here, damn it. I gotta afford a strong military. I don't have time for this pussy pussyfooting around here, damn it. <laughs> you know, if, if we have a problem, we'll just buy him a fucking stadium or something. <laughs> They'll get over it, probably. What the hell? Maybe we'll build a sweatshop. <laughs> sure, we'll build a sweatshop. Still really haven't gotten a whole lot of jobs from our ministers here. Although our foreign uh, minister has actually increased to 75% approval now. Which means I can start doing the things I want to do. We're, uh... Three million for six turns. It's 18 million. I'm probably not going to war with oxygen. We're gonna sell weapons to them. We're gonna stop building. We're gonna start building that pipeline. Uh and I think I'm gonna sell weapons to Babelistan because fuck the chickens. I'll be fine. Oh, that do nothing. Oh, good airline industry. Oh, good fisheries. 
What's up, buddy? Excellency, the global economy is starting to rebound. Yay! Yes, due to my careful planning, the effect on the Basenji economy has been minimalized. You have successfully built out all of Basenji's troubled industries. And some may repay a portion of their debts to you in the near future. That's right, 50% taxes, XSI. Uh, the game has been updated, in quotations, uh, to uh, be better balanced. Looks like we're in a recession again. Oof. I'm, uh, I'm not able to, uh, handle that increased tax rate, though, too well. With, uh... How things are going here. Because the increased tax rate also does lower my GDP. And I kind of do need it to strengthen. Alternatively... I could spend an extra 5 gold per turn. Gold? Yes. 5 million per turn for this reverse engineering. I don't know how much that'll influence the increase of the GDP, but maybe it'll keep me from having lower taxes, although my capitalist approval is going to continue to fall. Because that's the way it goes. Yeah, I'll spend an extra 5 million per turn, I suppose. Very well, we're going to reverse engineer, I reckon. It'll uh, have a negative effect on our relationships. Oh well, because we're no longer dependent on everyone. So be it. Right, a whopping uh, 10 loyalty points every turn. Our foreign minister has thankfully ticked up to the magical number all on his own. Appreciate it, buddy. I don't feel like making a call or adjusting things. No, XSI, I'm not in a recession because 50% taxes. Fucking Jesus, XSI. You can't just go, like, running into a broadcast and then lecture me on, like, the state of the game when you haven't been here at any point after the game. Like, why we are in a financial crisis. <laughs> Fucking slow your roll, man. Nah. Duh. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and accept it. Working conditions of the Sinji are very poor. And we're, yeah, we're still remaining solid with our poor labor rights. And we've been off 50% taxes for most of the time. Well, no we haven't. The game is supposed to prevent us from being on the, this high tax rate for most of the time. I think I am going to buy... Well, not buy, but uh, increase uh, healthcare costs by two million, and bump up those liberal support. Okay, we're rebuilding our loyalty point bank. Of course, we burned fifty earlier on the cap list, and we lost a lot of loyalty earlier in the game. But we're doing okay now. We're doing okay. I'm gonna bankroll, bank up some money. Uh, I guess I'm not sending any to the Swiss bank this run. So my score is going to be trash, but I don't need more experience points anyway, because I've unlocked everything. <laughs> so I guess that's true. Nor do I much care for trading for things in this game. I mean, certainly if I got oil or if I got some of these products, it could help me keep up support. But on the flip side, it costs me money. And money is so valuable. Um, uh, no, I, I don't think so. You can go to hell, fundamentalist. Sinji citizens are increasingly identifying as capitalists. Great. Of course, we've covered that I don't really have an option I can purchase to get up fundamentalist support. Unlike how, in fact, I do have a few other options to get up support from the other folks. So there is that. There is that to consider whenever I tell the fundamentalists to go fuck themselves. Which is what I usually do in this game anyway, to some extent. That's, again, my speech today is just awful. I'm still working on that oil pipeline. 
Got weapon exports rolling. Did the war stop between these two? All factions matter. Especially in this game. Yeah, the war did stop between the two. Okay. I don't feel like selling weapons to the chickens, though. I haven't forgotten what that damn rooster did. How he fucking turn war on one war does. Hey, USA. Good day. It's all I would be. Maybe give me that agent, yeah? I don't feel like doing anything else this turn. He's got a green tie. His tie is made out of money. It is my pleasure. Ted, I have well, you are too. Eh? I understand what you were saying. Yeah. The intelligence agencies about a joint operation. Yeah. I believe. Very well. I hope. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Of course, you know, I'm I'm not too keen on killing the chickens right now, if only because it would be terrible if Babelistan and Oxygen both went to war. Instead, you know, I might kill them later, right? Like, I might use this should one of the factions annoy me overly so. I'll always have them in my pocket. You know, until I stop having him in my pocket for whatever reason. Which would annoy me. <laughs> well, I don't feel like doing anything this turn. Again. Yep. Get up that creepy approval. What? Yes. Hi. Oh, high unemployment too, huh? Oh yeah, the jobs are still pretty rough, huh? Hmm. I guess, I guess the tax, the taxes can no longer be on 50% cruise control for cool. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Have it your way, game. 15%. Perfectly reasonable. We barely make any money now per turn. I hope you're happy, game. I hope you peasants are happy with what you've done to this great nation. Fucking peasants. Being all peasanty and shit with your peasanty concerns. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Really don't know whether I should have bought that sweatshop. I am missing that extra five billion. Okay. Well, pfft. that's all I got to say about this. Pfft. Yeah. Good turn, everyone. <laughs> well, our relations with Bellstan are pretty strong. We are selling them weapons, though. Yeah. Oops. Good Goodbye. We'll call our friends. Just to keep in contact with them. Because I believe, according to the game, uh, you lose some relations with them if you don't keep in touch. So we'll keep in touch, you know. Say hi. American drone? Oh no. Well, we don't really have drones. We don't have drones unlocked. So it doesn't matter too much. We have plenty of relationships with the United States, so it's okay if we condemn them. It's a like, bite. Oh, our deals have expired. Let's go ahead and grab that cartel. And off we go to trade land. Hello, Babelistan. Thank you for. Hundred percent of the market rate. Incredible. Thirty million per turn. 
and our good, wonderful friends in Axtogen. Oops, you want my goats, don't you? My goats that suddenly went up in value. Yeah, 109% of the market value. Oh yes, XSI. We have an updated interface uh, that uh, properly adjusts whenever uh, changes to the treasury have been made. Uh, an income over the course of a turn. And also, the game has been made more challenging so that you cannot consistent... The effects of low and high tax rate have been adjusted to be, like, more impactful. So a lower tax rating will have a, a low, super low tax rating will have more of an impact, and a super high tax rating will have more of an impact. I've been stress testing that. It's been a mixed bag. <laughs> All right. Very well, let the censorship begin. Fundamental support is much harder for me to increase. All right, are we going to have another failed speech, guys? The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today. I the bill. All right. In this era of instant gratification, I grow concerned that we are losing our spiritual and moral compass. All right, yeah. I think this is going to be a good speech. Finally, our first great speech this run. Because that segued perfectly. Unfortunately, there is no other great segue here. Okay, we went from having shitty, shitty, shitty speech to, yay, we actually had a good speech, yay. Fundamentalist and liberal support is maxed. Capitalists are still a bit roughed up after everything. But we're going to try and uh, fix our shitty GDP again and our shitty jobs. Crippling unemployment rate, oof. We're gonna leave things alone. I'm just gonna. I've never really had jobs in that section before. It's just been fucked up. We're gonna leave it that way. Our empowered industry is still leaning that way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck with things that front. Now we're up to 11 loyalty points per turn. Despite a real lack of jobs being offered to me, tasked by the ministers, which has certainly made this harder. Or bring everyone in land. Not to worry about the chickens. Not with my trump card. How's the military doing, General? How is Mora if you don't mind me. You're damn right they love Thank me. Because I'm amazing. And, uh... Yeah, we got plenty of money for recruiting troops when Farouk comes to town. He's already in town, actually, but, uh... Whenever he finally decides to organize his coup and launch it... We'll be ready. Of course, we're gonna have to deal with the Karifi before this uh, before this run's done. One way or the other, we'll see where we go with that. I don't see any real reason to adjust the stuff. Yeah, I know the capitalist support is just all roughed up because of what happened during the global recession. Hmm. I'm gonna choose the option that increased capitalist support. 
Yes, yes, yes. The people are incredibly sad and distraught over everything. I get it. Believe me. I get it. We got our beautiful oil pipeline. That, that said I was only getting 5 million per turn instead of 6, but oh well. Everything's great. We might even get a little piece of intelligence. Keep in mind that Farouk's our intelligence minister, so we we do not get that much in the way of intelligence. <sighs> Illicit opium exp uh, exports. Damn it. Damn it. Well. Don't really care about insulting... Uh, if fundamentalists right now. Uh, why don't we just ensure that our own narcotic smugglers are not undercut by these entrepreneurs? Mm. Yes, let's promise a referendum on the issue of Karifi, uh, sovereignty. Now, you can't tell. There's no, like, slider or gauge to show you what their support level is at. I don't even know what value it starts at. All you can really tell is, uh, that, uh, some, like, dialogue options will raise or lower it, and the game will announce that to you whenever it's been raised or lowered, but I don't know what it's actually at right now. Hey, Tariq. Do I still have the confidence of our parliament? With respect, your excellency, I have the impression that some of your ministers are expressing disloyalty. You should keep an eye on them. Right. Ministers can be fired, but this would make you unpopular with the minister's faction. It is usually better to earn their trust by fulfilling their requests. Yes, their requests. All of the two I have gotten. And from one of them, one of them I got was for a person who died later. How is our international reputation? Relations with some of our neighbors are poor. You should reach out to them and try to find common ground. I'll work on that. Any news from the polling agencies? How is the mood of our people? Excellency, unemployment is on the rise and the burden on our economy will be felt by everyone. Yeah. You should make job creating policies a top priority. <laughs> That's all for now. Thanks, buddy. My good friend here, who has totally helped guide us throughout this entire game, and will in no way experience an unfortunate accident in the near future. No. No. Probably not, no. <laughs> well, Steven, you might be onto something there. <laughs> Hello. I'm glad I didn't give up on this run. Like I was so tempted to with that turn one fucking random event into war. Fucking chicken us, Dad. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about what they did. I have not forgotten. We're holding pretty stable here. I'm not making as much money per turn as I'd like, but this is good, I guess. I guess. All right, good. We had enough money to fix this. Let's just fucking throw 100 billion for the disaster relief fund. Oh, hey, we got a new piece of intelligence, guys. What did we learn? Anticipated life expectancy is approximately 15 years. No, no, it's, it's about to end sooner. Trust me. So, coming close to the point where uh, throwing money into the disaster relief fund doesn't matter uh, because we might not get another disaster uh, event. So I'm actually going to cut this down to 1 million. 
you know, just to say that I am, right? Crime has uh, certainly gotten rougher you know, because of the fact that, uh, of how that event I chose to do, I didn't, I just bumped up crime considerably. And, uh, yeah, my, my, my country is certainly in a rougher state than I'm used to because of the rough start we had. But we're fairly stable still, which is pretty nice. I know, 15 years, what an outrage, right? Hmm. Don't know whether I'll do any prayer from the mountain things to up Karifi support, because I don't know how much that offer ups Karifi support either. Because again, I have no like eyeball on the value. It just says that it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't have a uh, protectionist. We uh, threw that out the window. Oh. Oh, yes. Let's expand organized hunting program for tourists. Let's, uh, liberals didn't even care. You see that? They didn't even care. Let's, uh, let's improve the GDP there. Yeah! GDP! 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 Bro. I was blending in perfect and beautiful together there. Damn, I really can't speak today. Alright. 8% tax rate. We'll uh, try and fix jobs through taxes. Ah, oh, my support. Glorious. Oh, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. Okay. Hmm. Public indecency at an aquarium. Let's have him released from prison. Fundamentalist didn't even care. It's great. We gotta bump up our cabinet loyalty here. May it endure for 10,000 years. Farouk, of course, does not improve at all. He reduces the likelihood of intelligence breakthroughs. Our, our last name is New Version. I forgot. <laughs> nah, I'm good. We're just gonna hold stable here. Max approval across the board from everyone. We're gonna make Basenji great again, damn it. Jobs are improving, our labor rights are still trash. Why don't we go ahead and flip the other way? Yeah, we'll legalize unions for a bit and we'll see what happens. Hmm. Although that apparently does a number on my job score. That's terrible. On second thought. <laughs> This fixes jobs. This fixes labor. That upsets capitalists. So how about we do this? Ah, average minimum wage, comparable to Canada, Saudi Arabia, or Taiwan. Look at me. I'll make this country great again for sure. Thank you. What's up? Just wanna touch base. No real issues I want to talk about with these folks. Just want to keep in contact. Gotta use my turn unit somehow. Ah. Mm. Let's just go ahead and buy each general a fancy estate. As I don't really need to increase their approval score. <laughs> they can have lovely houses. Oh, sure, I can do that. Three additional units that a chicken a stand border. Yeah. Finally, you're doing. So you're, you're giving me a job here that I don't mind doing. That's uh, that's the Karifi territory there. Three additional units. There we go. There's the three units. Did my job. 
General's Eye Military Procurement, and then just like that, they forget about it. <laughs> oh boy. Good times. Well, don't worry, labor rights. We'll fix you. Everyone's at max approval. Happy days. Um, I don't really need to buy anything because we're perfect with our approval scores. We'll just keep banking money. American drone. Oh. Let's condemn the assassination as a violation of my sovereignty. Boo, America. <laughs> After a year of planning and campaigning, today Karifis will come together to vote on their future within the People's, People's Republic of Basenji. People on both sides watch anxiously as the yes and no sides compete for the lead in what is anticipated to be a close race. Activists were out in force across the country during the final weekend before the ballot that might trigger the break of our beloved country. Opinion polls show contradictory findings. Both the yes and no campaigns said they were poised to win, introducing further uncertainty to our financial markets. Karifi Separatist and President of the Karifi Commission, Hassan El Barad, was quoted in the morning papers with, Independence will be hard. It will have costs. It will also mean a state that adheres to our branch of the old ways. It will have benefits. It will make us free. So we have a choice right here to wait for the final tally or interfere with the referendum results, which cost a hundred million dollars. Well, chat, you've uh, likely been here for my explaining and you've seen the events that pop up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer you, bed chat, a poll. Okay. Wait a section. So, are we going to wait for the final tally? Are we going to spend a hundred million dollars of our considerable sum of cash that's basically going to be our wartime bank account for raising troops to fight Farouk uh, and his inevitable coup? Are we going to interfere with the referendum results? And now if we wait for the final tally uh, and McCreefy stays with us, then that's great. Like, uh, that'll actually be a benefit to us in the coup. It won't rip our country asunder. You know, we'll keep strong. We'll, you know, keep our economic powerhouse. Uh, but if they choose to rip apart from our country, uh, well, we have to deal with the consequences of that. How, as like interim leader of this great nation, uh, during our five year reign, we saw like a schism here. Now, by interfering with the referendum results, we can ensure, ensure, as far as I re recall, because I've done it before, uh, not on recording, that we will win the referendum, but we do have to spend a hundred million dollars. There might also be another ramification that pops up. Which I may or may not have alluded to already in this video, this live broadcast. Hmm. So it seems, according to my dashboard, that no one has voted. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Good poll. Good poll. Let me, uh, let me check Hitbox page, because it's possible that my dashboard just hasn't updated that poll for whatever reason. Confirm that no one has voted. You don't see a poll. Hmm. I don't see a poll either. That's funny. Because I'm running it. Hmm. What if I stop it and click resume again? The poll pop up now? No. Headbox. That's the first time the hitbox polling option has just absolutely failed. All right, Hitbox. That was disappointing. Like, <laughs> so much for democracy, right? What 
the hell, Hitbox? What if I refresh the dashboard? Okay. Let's let's try this again. And for folks watching in bed chat at home somewhere around the world, let me check it. Oh, hey! Let's, let's, what do you know? The poll actually appeared this time. I guess my dashboard glitched out at a snafu. Neat. Absolutely neat. All right. Uh, let me actually go ahead and see if I can focus on this. With these trash cropping controls. I really don't like uh, this new version of OBM Studio that much. of how obnoxious this is. Okay. That's fine. Democracy! I'm, uh... I go get a drink, I guess, and whenever I come back, democracy!
Okay. Guess we're stopping the poll there. Democracy has ended. Vote by 16 to 9, which is, of course, less than one half of the viewers, but so many are in bed or on mobile device. I want us to wait for the final tally. Now, if I was really going to exercise my dictatorship, I'd just interfere. But no, no. We went through so much effort for that poll that I will wait for the final tally. Now, I am curious as to whether, like, me influencing Karifi support even matters right now. I don't know whether uh, me attempting to adjust it by using my loyalty points would actually make an impact. And because I can't see what their support level is currently at, <laughs> I could never tell you. That'd be something I'd have to ask the developer. But I will host a prayer from the mountain and spend 50 of my points. Just to, like, throw him a bone and say, I did it. Besides, I'm now making 13 per turn because my defense minister is finally satisfied with me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move everyone back inland. It made my defense minister happy. Let's go ahead and return everyone back home. Neat. Uh... No, it's way too late in the game to start a, uh... To start a, uh, secret project. Hmm. I was just wondering here. I was thinking to myself while getting a drink. I was thinking, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I make an investment in the dam. Like, I made an investment in the dam at the beginning, right? And I spent, what, it was like an initial setup cost of $80 million plus like 34 per turn for 15 turns. So, let's see, is it 34 or 36? We'll just assume it's 36 for 15 turns. That's 540 shekels plus 80 is 620, right? And then it pays me 15 per turn by, for, we'll say, 40 turns which is uh, 600. So, because of the fact that I max my investment into, like, the dam to ensure that it succeeds, I'm not entirely sure whether it pays for itself on the monetary value by the time the game finishes. That said, it does also have a neat event where you can, like, make everyone happier by fueling our country of electricity. It does increase tourism dollars as well, I think. So there's that. I'm not exactly sure why the tourists care about visiting the Basenji's Hydroelectric Dam, but there you go. Uh, anywho. Um. I... Don't really think I have anything I want to do this turn. Yeah, I could spend more loyalty points, but I want to keep those saved up for tank brigades whenever the coup strikes. We could raise taxes. Oh, we got our labor uh, relations balanced out again. Neat. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, there we go. Everything's all fine, just fine. We'll give we'll give one more turn uh, flying around in this like stable pattern. Is our GDP? No, our GDP's got to be green. Yeah. And then I'll hike taxes back up for the uh, last few turns. Our final purchasing. Foreign hacker? Ah, release it to the press that I supposedly own? We'll buy a silence. What's up, buddy? You want me to buy two new warplanes for the next three turns? Ah. Uh, Does your extra support and approval really matter at this stage? I mean, I guess the planes might be useful in the coup. I'm not exactly sure whether they factor into the troop count in the coup. Hmm. They have a pretty stiff cost. 
mean, that's half my bankroll right there for this guy. Just to make him happier. He might pay me some money in exchange, but I'm also going to be losing $10 million to maintain them for the next, basically the rest of the game. Like five, six turns, whatever that is. See, the longer I wait to fulfill his request, like, you know, like, I don't think he can give me more than plus two loyalty points, though, so I don't think I, I don't think I care. I'm just gonna let go. No, I'm gonna let go. There's nothing I want to do this turn. Right, except for increasing taxes. I guess because, in theory, Jobs is suffering a, a frowny face, that I could do something to up Jobs. Yeah, no work visas. Only Basenji residents. Yeah. Yeah, that'll lower unemployment rate. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we have great race relations with Abelistan, and we're going to keep it that way. Liberals are a little upset about that. 61% of the vote. Wow. So basically, I burned 50 of my loyalty points there. Southern regions of Basenji are now an independent theocracy. We did a lot to upset uh, the Kreefy, so I'm not surprised. I just didn't think it was that steep. Alright, so our nation has fractured. And yes, I would have recommended interfering with the referendum. But I decided to kick that to you, the democracy, so... Rest in peace. Now, I don't actually know how much that mechanically does to our country. I don't think it lowers score. I don't really think it even lowers our economy. I think it's just an event chain. It might, like, lower our income and economy a bit, but I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things. If we actually lose the creepy, other than in the coup, it's a bit harder for us because we can't invoke that button. And you'll see when we get there. And yes, XSI, that is a pretty rough margin of error if both sides thought they were winning, but with 61%. That's just the game being intentionally obscure and keeping you in the dark. I don't, like, I think the choice is more meaningful if you understand the full consequences and have all of the data available to you there. Like, as, like, the leader of Basenji here, in, if you're actually kicking a referendum up there, you should have access to some polls. Now, the trustworthiness of them might be for debate, because Basenji's only been in this, like, post-monarchy state for a few years. But to just have, like, no sense at all other than it's completely up in the air, and the successionists come away with 61% of the vote. Like, did they rig the polls? Did they intimidate people? Who can say? Was it really a pure democracy? Um, you have no option to actually influence the Karifi opinion, as far as I can tell, beyond some of those event buttons that pop up, and if you bank 50 loyalty points. And because I don't know how much this actually influences the Karifi support, nor do I know how much the Karifi actually support you, like, there's just no information, a complete lack of information, so you can't make an informed decision. <laughs> now, if you refuse to kick it up to a referendum, uh, it flavors uh, Farouk, and this happened before in like one of the recorded series, like Farouk actually goes with like them as they try to break free from you. I believe that's true. It has been some time since I last played Rogue State, and a lot of shit has happened since then in my life. Whatever. Mm. That 
gonna really upset the capitalist for 10 turns, uh, which is beyond the length of the game. Or, eh. Switch up to a board. Fuck him. What? What do you want? To condemn the United States in my next public statement? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. First job he's ever offered me. Not gonna be able to do it. We ain't that much further from the end of the game, Chief. Besides, I already did a speech where I fucking condemned the United States, you lazy sack of shit. I'm not bitter. <laughs> no, no, I'm not bitter. Not me. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up this presidential guard. And, uh, we'll in turn. Don't feel like doing anything else. Cultural Bureau is requesting that you approve the commissioning of a new museum. Look. We don't have a military victory, so we can't make a museum of that. We don't have the protectionist uh, policy, so that we can't make a museum of natural history. This is a shame. We can make the Museum of American Atrocities. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Museum of American Atrocities. <laughs> mm. He's disappointed that I ignored his request. And I have lost some of his respect. Okay, turn 59. I think it's a good point here. You. Fuck you. I could have done that a few turns sooner, I think. But I was so distracted by clicking through in turn. I don't think these deals are really going to make a mechanical difference here. Because we're not that far from the end of the game. But I'll go ahead and uh, make them again. You know, Museum of fucking American Atrocities, I love it. Thank you. Nope. Oh. Doop do 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 Yep. He's disappointed. How disappointed is he? Oh, he is so frowny faced, man. You don't even know. He wants me to con I'll turn 60. Okay. Would it be funny if the game was longer by like another, like, 12 turns or some shit? And I'm like, oh, what the hell about that? You know, I'll give a speech condemning the Americans if it pops up. Sure, what the hell? I did it before. I'll do it again. I just build a museum of their fucking atrocities, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. No. I don't feel like doing anything else. We're good. Well. Why don't we just have a regular calling of them? Farouk, along with a contingent of disloyal soldiers, have marched into the Basenji Legislative Assembly, declaring a loss of confidence in your leadership. He is declaring our transitional government a failure and unilaterally suspending our constitution by force. Okay. Neat. Yeah, I'll get around to denouncing America here. Mm-hmm. The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens. Earlier today, I received word that my brother Farouk declared martial law over the People's Republic of Basenji illegally suspended our constitution and declared all regional assemblies to be dissolved under no authority granted upon him. The aim of the Revolutionary Council was to establish a strong, united, and prosperous nation, free from corruption and internal strife. Farouk has perverted these goals in order to consolidate power around himself. As glorious leader and custodian of the transitional government, I declare that the actions of my brother and those soldiers who are following his orders are acts of treason, punishable by death. All traitors who surrender themselves to the army before 1900 hours tonight shall be granted amnesty. Our enemies are those that seek to keep the country divided permanently so that they can obtain power, and we will fight them with everything we have. I ask for your support at all times so that our land washed in the salt by the Gulf 
may be cleansed from this hostility and that democracy may finally be brought to the people. Now what? <laughs> Two new Dude, you need to lay off these fucking warplanes, man. We're a bit busy here. <laughs> so, the Basenji, coup d'etat. Procure additional military units to increase the number of soldiers loyal to you. If you're ever, if ever able to meet one of the following conditions, click on it to boost your warfare attrition rate. So, we have Patriot approval at least 80%. We have Capitalist approval at least 80%. We need fundamental, fundamentalist approval at least 80%. If we have that. We have liberal approval at least 80%. We have the presidential guard purchased. We have USA relationships at least 70% after everything. Karifi did not vote to remain with the Senji. We do have the military approval at least 70%. We started with the Great Firewall. And we have no disloyal ministers. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll buy him. And that apparently takes some time to update. We'll we'll figure it out probably. Go ahead and spend all the money on coke and hookers. By coke and hookers, I mean a great military to attack the Karifi. After the egregious insult they delivered to my glorious nation. I'm not bitter. There we go. That's pretty good. Yep. I'm glad they're increasingly identifying as capitalists. We're a bit busy right now. Farouk, of course, no longer with us. <laughs> So, when do you want me to condemn the United States on turn 60? Hmm. Right, yeah. No, he's not dead yet. The uh, assassin has not finished doing his job. Uh. Sure, we'll allow it. <laughs> Your assassin has murdered the Emperor, but was killed trying to escape. Oh, uh, he's disappointed I ignored his request. I'm fucking sorry. I was too busy giving a speech about my brother who decided to commit treason and attempt a coup d'etat upon me. Your lack of respect is wholly irrelevant here. <laughs> I'm tempted to fucking fire him. <laughs> also, yeah. Yeah, hmm. All right, Farouk. <laughs> Your move, motherfucker. We killed him, though. We killed that bastard. And the entire nation's in anarchy, as it should be. This is Rogue State. It's not a game that's listed in Hitbox's database. Nor do I particularly care to change that by sending them a nail. I'm not gonna be playing this game for forever. I was just returning to it to see how the game changed, and as you can see, I'm still doing pretty well at 50% tax rate. I didn't even spend my loyalty points. Fuck. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and we'll host another prayer. We'll, we'll, we'll convince the Karifi to rejoin us once it's all said and done. This coup is over. They're taking our gerbs. Game over. Farouk's attempted coup failed. His remaining soldiers surrendered. Your brother's body was found in the Legislative Assembly Secretary's office next to a hurried letter that never saw the light of day. Foreign journalists suggested that you were supported by the military grudgingly and only at the 11th hour. The coup they suggest could well have succeeded otherwise. No, nope, no chance. The public figures who maintained their loyalty were rewarded with key political appointments weeks prior to Sinji's first free elections. 
The lines as voters gathered to elect their president were packed full of proud citizens of all ages and demographics. An elderly woman when interviewed for the news commented that she voted for a leader with integrity and sincerity and the hopes that we can provide a fresh start for our people. And I was awarded the honorific title of Glorious Leader of the People's Revolution in perpetuity. A statue of my likeness is raised in the Hall ho the Royal Palace like so many others. Now, you can go through that and succeed, but uh, the game recognizes that you have like a legacy as bloody as that of your brother, and they pretty much just like shunt you off into history. Got an achievement there, the interview for successfully uh, completing this scenario. Score isn't so good at this run because I never kicked any money to my, uh, my Swiss account. Oh well. I'll get over it. Rogue State. It's not a bad game, as evidenced by the fact I've spent like over what fucking twenty-five hours playing it. It's a title I got for free uh, from Black Shell Media, but it was one I was interested in buying and pay uh, playing myself. But uh, Black Shell Media has sent me a lot of stuff. I got on like one of their mail lists, and I just have like serial keys showered upon me. I have a, uh, I have several saved away that I plan on organizing a giveaway for during like my next major like marathon live broadcast. Obviously hasn't happened yet. Tariq, thanks to Chad, you live this time. I shot him in my first playthrough. It was pretty fun. I was surprised. I was like, wow, I could shoot him? It was an action sequence. I'm not even exaggerating. It was timed. It was great. Haggis. Alright, I don't have time for the rest of your fucking credits. I've seen these enough. Little Red Dog Games. Okay, so new version. Didn't do the worst. <laughs> That final achievement is like uh, the Vasinji Liberation Front or some shit. It's a hidden one. That's not listed on Steam, but I've uh, I, I've seen it because uh, Jeff has it, for instance. I just don't know how to trigger it. Well, I test piloted the new version. Granted, that was normal difficulty. We did start with a great fireball. I did make quite a few errors at the start. But, I mean, we did fine, just fine. Yeah, I'm pretty glad that uh, I didn't give up on that run. Uh, we had a turn one chicken to stand fight. Also, a turn one uh, me starting the dam. I didn't start trading my goods as soon as I could have, I ran out of money. Um, so it took me longer for me to rebuild the country. And, uh... We did have those two events that showered money upon me a bit. Which were helpful. But I also burned quite a bit of money on, say, a tank. Trying to, like, shore up the border there. And I didn't want my country to be continually attacked. It was rough, but we managed to do it. Of course, if you're uh, running the nuclear weapon start, you don't have to worry about that shit, nor do you have to worry about America. You can just counterfeit money to your heart's content. This song. Yes, Basenji Basenji. Good times. Good times. Well, I mean, at some point I might do another run of this. But it ain't right now. <laughs> 